Charlie D'Amelio. You know her, the TikTok dancing queen star from like five years ago. Now, I feel like no one talks about her now. I don't know what's up with them. They got a reality TV show with the whole family trying to be the Kardashians. Who watches it? I, I have no idea. I feel like all of her fans grew up. Charlie D'Amelio, who's been around forever, just giant, you know, TikTok star or whatever, uh, recently did a Ford ad that I just think is is shitty. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to look at it. That's pretty much it. Was she the one with the embarrassing thirsty dad? That's Addison Ray. Well, has 182 teeth and holds back a monster. I don't know. My zipper. Charlie D'Amelio is the one with the Republican dad, which I just found out. I had no idea. Apparently, he ran for Senate in like 2018 in Connecticut. He was like trying to be a political dude, and now he's micromanaging his two daughters' TikTok social media careers. Although they're bigger than TikTok now. I mean, they got like shoe brands, popcorn brands. She was recently doing that ad for that Walmart thing that popped up that everyone made fun of. That was apparently for their popcorn brand, which I didn't know about. I feel like they're just massive sellouts is, is really the thing. They just, they get their hands in everything, like every business possible. Like they're not known for anything. I don't know. She's known for being known. True. Insightful you are. There's this guy on TikTok who has a lot of videos kind of talking about the downfall of their brand and they've done so well like 13 million views lay it on me noah charlie d'amelio is being canceled for doing an ad with ford and trust me when i say you're not ready to hear exactly why she's being canceled i haven't seen enough of noah's videos i've this guy pops up all the time i noticed though that noah really likes to use the word canceled <laughs> For everything. Everybody's canceled. Ah, oh, they're canceled. I don't think they're canceled. I think I think they're okay. This literally feels like an SNL skit in real life. So Charlie and her dad just started an ad for Ford. Now the ad takes place in 2013 and they digitally de-aged her dad for the ad. Anyways, in the ad, her dad asks a young actress who is playing Charlie D'Amelio if she wants to go for a ride. Now the reason this is so controversial is because in 2014, Charlie's dad was arrested for a DUI while a nine-year-old Charlie was in the car with with him. This is real. You can Google this. Now, because of this, many, many people are very upset with Ford for even working with the D'Amelio. Like, they didn't have to set it in 2013, but they did. Now, obviously, people are very, very upset with this. They're saying so that, one, Charlie's dad should not be involved in any kind of car commercial. And a lot of people are wondering why they chose 2013 specifically, especially since this incident happened in 2014. Now, of course, Charlie is at no fault for this, but her dad should have just said no to this ad. He should not have been involved at all. I mean, who cares at all? Honestly, I don't really give a fuck. I just think it's, um, I was gonna say funny. I still, no, I do think it's funny. I think it's funny. Who gives a fuck? I mean, everyone in the comments is saying like, yeah, people care too much, whatever. I mean, I'm not even sure anyone gives a fuck. Noah could just be saying that. <laughs> like, I don't know where Noah's going, where he's just like, everyone's pissed. I don't, I don't know. I think Noah often will just say people are saying this when it's just like a few comments or whatever. I just thought it was funny though. So I just, I looked at the ad because I was just curious. And what I'm more curious about is just the ad is just such shit. It's, it's, a, it's an awful ad. It's, the budget is just... Abysmal. Oh yeah, side note, I thought this was interesting too. Poor Noah. There's like a million AI copycats of his channel. I just found this kind of funny. Charlie D'Amelio is being canceled for doing an ad with Ford. Charlie D'Amelio is being canceled for doing an ad with Ford. Charlie D'Amelio is being canceled for doing an ad with Ford. Trust me, you're, you're not ready. Is that crazy? Exactly why she's being canceled. That's weird. There's just like a million people doing AI voices of his fucking videos. Anyways, let's just look at the fucking ad. I can't believe these views, dude. Her view numbers are crazy now. 45K in three days for 9.12 million subs. That's wild to me. A Christmas vlog with 86K. It looks like I watched it. I just watched it early, all right? I'm not like, a, I'm not watching all the Christmas vlogs. I'm just curious, whatever. My first Ford. Dear Ford, my dad has always been a Ford man. He and I dreamed up this video together. While he's always loved the classic 1965 Mustang, I'm more of an EV girl myself. We are a strong loving family and I want to continue the Mustang legacy that my father started. I want the Mach-E to be my first car. Love always, Charlie. Is this Carly Rae Jepsen music video? Oh no, she's nine years old. HR, I'm gonna check this out. <laughs> okay, just because we have de-aging technology doesn't mean we gotta use it every second we got. The Irishman was a good movie and I was impressed with the de-aging. Avengers, when they de-aged Tony Stark in that one scene, also great. Do we need to use it on Mark D'Amelio? HR, I'm gonna check hey, this out. Hey, it's me, 10 years younger. This Ford Mustang was my favorite car growing up. Must be really old. Go for a Must ride? be ancient. Yeah. And let's go drunk drive. 
I think now's a good time to stop and go to the actual uh, DUI 10 years ago. <laughs> On January 12th, 2014, the Newark Hour, New Norwalk Hour reported that around 2.28 a.m. on January, 2.28 a.m. Oh, it's late as hell. What? Okay, January 11, 2014, D'Amelio was arrested for driving around South Main Street drunk with his nine-year-old daughter in the front seat and three complete strangers that he picked up from a bodega in the back seat. Police began following D'Amelio's black BMW after spying the car making a legal U-turn. The car began traveling southbound on South Main Street, swerving numerous times into the northbound lane and at one point almost hitting the curb in the northbound lane. When police pulled D'Amelio over, he immediately exited his vehicle and was told to get in the back of the car, according to the police. When an officer approached approached the car, D'Amelio allegedly told the officers he was driving around South Norwalk with his daughter, handing out winnings from the Mohican Sun Casino in an effort to teach his daughter a lesson on helping the less fortunate. Uh... Yeah? <laughs> is that what you're doing? <laughs> Dad is drunk as shit, nine-year-old daughter in the car, it's 2.30 in the morning, we picked up three strangers from Bodega, we just got back from casino, and... What we're actually doing is we're is we're spreading wealth to the community to to leave a good example. Oh, to leave, is to leave a good example for my for my daughter, officer. She's gonna be a big TikTok star one day. You just don't know it yet. Dunkin' Donuts is gonna love her. Di Emilio explained that he had picked up the men at a corner store and was giving them a ride during his mission to hand out cash in South Norwalk. He failed all three field sobriety tests, and was taken into custody. Three is a lot of tests. According to the news account, D'Amelio was charged with operation while under the influence, risk of injury to a minor, failure to drive in proper lane, and restricted turn signals. He was held a $25,000 bond and given a court date. Police also notified the State Department of Children and Families about the D'Amelio arrest. D'Amelio's subsequent race for the State Senate on September 28, 2018, the hour published an article recounting many of the details from 2014 report. It also provided an update that D'Amelio applied for and was granted accelerated rehabilitation, which entailed maintaining a clean record for nine months. After D'Amelio uh, completed the Accelerated Rehabilitation Program. God, do I have a problem? The charges were dismissed in Norwalk Superior Court. So what we're reading from right now is actually a complaint that he sent against a journalist in 2018 because they brought back up this story of his DUI and he was running for Senate. So he sued them. He loses because they said... It's all material facts. <laughs> yeah, they just recounted the events exactly as it was. I just think it's funny. I mean, obviously not the whole story, but in retrospect, he did rehabilitation, whatever. You put your daughter at risk, whatever. I'm not going to cancel him fucking. Well, now I'm being like, no, I'm going to cancel him. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to like judge him so hard for 10 years ago. I mean, it's fucking crazy. But I mean, just to add to it too, there's one more detail I saw. When an officer approached a vehicle, he noticed that three men, including a man who was on special parole for a shooting incident, we're sitting in the back seat. Anyways, now let's watch it again. <laughs> Ready to give those casino winnings to the town, are we? So, like, the weirdest thing is what Noah said. Is it like, is someone at Ford trying to set him up? Because, like, what are the odds? You're doing a car commercial and they, some for some reason, aged him back 10 years? Like, the exact time period he did this? It just seems like somebody set him up. I don't know. Coincidence. I think so too, maybe. It's just a funny coincidence. Also, just I mean, did the did the, how much money does D'Amelio cost? Because this AI is atrocious. Uh, not AI. This CGI is atrocious. The eagle sound. This is some shit, you know, you see on TikTok of like those fucking like fake interior design bedrooms or whatever. I covered that a long time ago. It looks just like that. This is the lowest budget for a car commercial I've ever seen. Look, run that in half speed. Beautiful. Wow, look at that. That is the real car right there. Ciao. I feel like a 15 year old kid could make a better animation. Scratch that. Nay, 11 year old kid. <laughs> for Ford, too. Really? Okay. That's a real gas gas station. Gas station. It's just so ugly. Yeah, the gas station. Very funny slip up, Gunner. Very. <laughs> My imagination here is that they must have spent so much money on the de aging technology that they couldn't afford anything else. Oh my God, older me is here. This doesn't make any sense. Stop, kid. Come over here. Climb in my front trunk. HR, we're gonna take this out. This is for you. 
What is this? A magical letter? Back to the <laughs> CGI road. Looks like a cutscene from Spyro the Dragon, PlayStation 1. The Ford Mustang was featured heavily in that game. You probably didn't know. Let's go hit the bodega, baby. And the casino. Or the red carpet. Now I drive a Ford. I have a Ford Mustang. I've, I've been a Ford guy for years. You probably didn't know this. Once my uh, father bought me my first car. Yeah, I'm wealthy. You guys knew this, all right? Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. All right, don't cancel me. Okay, all right. Yeah, after I got a hand-me-down Ford from my father, I then bought another Ford after that one broke down. By that, I mean my father also bought me the next Ford Mustang after that one broke down. So I've been a Ford guy for years. I've been a Ford guy for years. I might sell that now. Recoup the money that my father put into it. Profit Gunner, I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman. And I might buy someone else because this commercial has turned me off. Now that I know Mark D'Amelio <laughs> got a DUI 10 years ago, I don't want this car. I don't want, I don't like what it represents anymore. So that's really it. <laughs> Just wanted to look at that real fast. I thought it was funny. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Please, Gunner, go live. Please, Gunner, go live. Oh, Gunner, please stream. Stream on Tuesday. You said there'll be a stream.